Good morning, greetings, and welcome, friends, to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you have a problem, health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us show you how simple and how easy it can be to get on a good nutritional supplement program and turn your health life around. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about the longevity products, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, true skin health products, something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Ultimate EFAs, Fucoid Z, any of the now 2,000 plus, almost 3,000 plus Longevity products, if you have questions about any of them, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or comments or success story about our Truth Skin Health products, we love hearing success stories. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up off our websites, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. You can also purchase Longevity products off the websites, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. And you can purchase your Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, off of truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, oil, silicon. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about them at Truth treatments.com truth treatments.com okay welcome back to the bright side we are talking PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome which is a big mess PCOS patients suffer from obesity and high blood pressure and skin problems acne oily skin hair loss body hair just a awful awful health challenge affects 10% of women of childbearing years PCOS should primarily be thought of as an estrogen issue, and whenever you hear about estrogen issues, you want to think about digestive health. Estrogen is broken down, cleared out of the body, in the digestive system, and any time you have an estrogenic health challenge, whether it is prostate disease in men or breast, uh, fibrocystic breasts or breast cancer or uterine or reproductive problems in women, think digestive health, and PCOS is no different. The PCOS patient needs to focus on digestive health using probiotics, the nightly essence from longevity, apple cider vinegar with meals, which we'll talk about here in a second, digestive enzymes, eliminating problem foods, Swero-V, 
so many ways you can focus on digestive health. And if you're dealing with an estrogenic health challenge, it is a must. Your doctor's not going to tell you this, by the way. The link between the digestive system and, and uh, estrogenic health is not one that you hear about it from representatives of the mainstream medical model. They'll tell you about, uh, they'll tell you about uh, using progesterone or progestins, fake progesterone, or they'll even put you on estrogen, estrogen replacement, hormone replacement therapy, but nobody ever talks about the link between the digestive system and the estrogen system. PCOS is an estrogenic issue, thus it is a digestive health issue. It's also a pre-diabetic condition or a diabetic condition. Yesterday, uh, yesterday we uh, talked about, we spent the whole program talking about the anti-diabetic properties of vinegar, which in my opinion is one of the all-time great and underappreciated strategies. Using apple cider vinegar is one of the great and underappreciated strategies for lowering blood sugar, especially before you go to bed at night. Diabetics all know that their blood sugar is highly concentrated or, or more, more concentrated in the morning than it is at night. Using apple cider vinegar before bed can give you a better blood sugar reading in the morning. Using apple cider vinegar with your meals or before your meals can help lower glucose, uh, blood glucose and improve insulin response and increase satiety, satisfaction. That means you'll feel fuller quicker. You'll be eating less food. If you fall off the wagon, according to an uh, article in the journal Diabetes Care, this one from January 2004, if you fall off the wagon, you eat a bunch of carbs, a bunch of sugar, doing some apple cider vinegar with your meals can improve your insulin response. And improving insulin response is one of the best ways to lose weight. Improving insulin response is one of the best ways to uh, uh, reduce the amount of calories that you take in. Insulin tells the body that it's had enough food. Insulin resistance keeps that signal from reaching the brain. When we're insulin resistant, that's what prediabetes is, insulin resistance, that's what type two diabetes is, is insulin resistance, we tend to eat more. Supporting insulin's activity improves satiety and allows us to feel fuller faster. Selenium, by the way, is an awesome supplement for improving insulin response. Selenium acts like a, it's kind of like a nutritional version of insulin. In an article headlined, Vinegar Improves Insulin Sensitivity to a High-Carbohydrate Meal in Subjects with Insulin Resistance, it was shown that vinegar may possess physiologic effects similar to the drug metformin. Vinegar is like a natural version of metformin. Metformin is the go-to treatment for type 2 diabetes, not just, not just here in the United States, but around the world. It's responsible for $2 billion in sales. Now people are telling you, Life Extension Foundation and alternative practitioners are telling you that metformin is an anti-aging drug in addition to being a uh, anti-diabetes med. I like Life Extension, but sometimes they're a little bit too, too drug-oriented for my tastes. You don't want to take a drug for anti-aging. That's like an oxymoron. Drugs are poisons, toxins. You don't take a poison or a toxin to get better, and you don't take a poison or a toxin to anti-age. The logic, of course, for using metformin for anti-aging is it helps support blood sugar. It helps support blood sugar metabolism. It helps support insulin. That's all well and good, but you still got to detoxify it. Remember, cells, which is at the end of the day, all drugs and all nutrition and all health strategies are about working on the cells. Cells don't want drugs. Cells have to treat, uh, have to purify drugs, have to detoxify drugs. The difference between nutrients and drugs is drugs get treated as toxins. They require the body's very substantial and very effective detoxification machinery in order to get eliminated from the body. Nutrients don't do that. Nutrients don't activate detoxification chemistry. Nutrients work, and then they're eliminated. They don't have to be cleaned out and purified. Interestingly, metformin, according to the American Diabetes Association, may cause cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's symptoms. How do you like that? Metformin, the drug that they give you for diabetes, can actually cause symptoms of type 3 diabetes. That's what Alzheimer's is. It's type 3 diabetes. Alzheimer's dementia and dementias in general, like all inflammatory and degenerative conditions, have a major, major blood sugar component. And even the American Diabetes Association says that the, the drug that causes, or that they use for uh, treating diabetes can actually cause diabetes symptoms. Anyway, 
Most of the studies on the benefits of vinegar are done with regular acetic acid solution, not the apple cider vinegar kind that we recommend on this program all the time. And you better believe apple cider vinegar is an awesome, awesome nutritional supplement for a lot of reasons. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Side. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. You can purchase all your favorite Longevity products, all my favorite Longevity products, all the Longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. And you can purchase Truth Skin Health products from truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, got lines open, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have any comments or success story you'd like to share, any questions about anything we're talking about here today, or a health challenge your loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. So we're talking about apple cider vinegar. Absolutely love this stuff. Apple cider vinegar, uh, lots of studies on apple cider vinegar, but typically they're not done. I'm sorry, lots of studies on vinegar, but typically they're not done on apple cider vinegar. But apple cider vinegar is a really rich source of potassium, which is not the case of uh, with regular vinegar. And apple cider vinegar is available organic. Bragg's apple cider vinegar, it's ridiculously cheap for all the benefits that you get. Apple cider vinegar is an, uh, a, an acetic acid solution. Acetic acid is a fabulously interesting molecule. It's a short chain fatty acid. Acetic acid is a fatty acid, but it's a fatty acid that's kind of like water. In chemistry, there's this distinction between water and fat, water solubility and fat solubility, things that dissolve in water or that are soluble in water and things that are soluble in fat. All, chemis all chemicals or molecules are said to be either water-soluble or fat-soluble. Well, acetic acid, the active ingredient in vinegar, is both. And that gives it some really interesting properties. For one thing, it's great for cleaning your countertops. The fact that it's water-soluble and fat-soluble means it's easy to work with. It, it's volatile, it evaporates, and it'll clean grease. Great for cleaning grease. And it's also great for your skin because it's water-soluble and fat-soluble. It's easy to work with. And this, its fat solubility helps it dissolve skin oils and also helps, dissolve, helps it dissolve the glue that holds dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. That's what alpha-hydroxy acids do. And acetic acid is an alpha-hydroxy acid in addition to being a short-chain fatty acid. And it's great for your skin. If you use apple cider vinegar, you'll get potassium too on your skin. If you use organic, you'll get the benefits of non-preservation also. So acetic acid is the sour stuff. It's the tangy stuff that gives pickles and sauerkraut and sourdough bread its characteristic bite. It's a type of fatty acid, short-chain fatty acid. And this, this is the reason, this is the secret behind apple cider vinegars, and really all vinegars, tremendously medicinal properties. In fact, apple cider vinegar, and I, I use the term syn synonymously. I'm, I just call it apple cider vinegar. You can use lots of different vinegars, but I'm just going to say apple cider vinegar because it's the best. Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. So if you uh, do research on Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar in general, you're going to see all these incredible health benefits. You're going to see benefits for blood sugar. You're going to see benefits for diet. You're going to see benefits for brain health. You're going to see benefits for weight loss. You're going to see benefits for uh, the digestive system. There's all of these benefits associated with apple cider vinegar. So many benefits that it's easy to just say, oh, that's an old wives' tale, or oh, that's just a panacea. No, it's not. The reason why apple cider vinegar has so many incredible health benefits is because acetic acid is a short-chain fatty acid. It's part of the ketogenic diet. Acetic acid and apple cider vinegar is, great for, uh, is a great uh, supplement for folks to use if they're on the ketogenic diet. Acetic acid is ketogenic. And the fact that it's handled by the body so effectively, especially by the nervous system, by the way, and the brain, the fact that short-chain fatty acids are handled by the body so effe efficiently and so effectively, and the fact that short-chain fatty acids are used by all the cells in the body means that apple cider vinegar, which is a short-chain fatty acid solution, 
is going to have multiple benefits. It's completely logical from a biochemical standpoint. And boy, does this stuff have benefits. It lowers blood fats. It lowers cholesterol. It lowers blood sugar. It lowers blood pressure. It's great for folks who are dealing with uh, uh, liver, liver fat issues or fatty liver issues, and 100 million Americans are. And on top of all of that, it, ha it lowers blood sugar. It's important for brain health. It basically works, short chain fatty acids and acetic acid basically work by helping the body process energy and utilize, helping the body utilize energy. This is why it's important for blood sugar control because blood sugar issues are energy issues. We're addicted to sugar because the way the body is hardwired, when we put high energy foods into the body, we get pleasure. So allowing the body to get energy or helping the body get energy without having to input it, in other words, helping the body extract or leverage energy from foods more effectively without having to input it from the outside is a wonderful strategy. If we, when we input energy in from the outside, i.e. by eating sugary foods, we drive an addictive process that puts us on this never-ending search for sugar. If you extract energy more efficiently from food, which is what using apple cider vinegar will do for you, you will not be on this never-ending quest for sugar. It's not so much the sugary, high-energy foods that we're addicted to as much as it's the secondary chemistry that follows the ingestion of the high-energy food. It's the brain chemicals, it's the brain pleasure chemicals that are secreted in response to the sugar. When the body is processing energy correctly, as when it has enough B vitamins, as when it has enough potassium, as when it has enough fats and short chain fatty acids, we will be less likely to derive pleasure by ingesting energy dense foods and we're going to be better off for it. Using apple cider vinegar will allow you to wean yourself off of sugar more effectively. The ingestion of these high energy foods is the biggest health disaster ever, ever, the excess ingestion of these high energy foods. It is responsible for our disastrous health condition in this country and around the world more than anything else. And that includes heart disease and cancer, the two biggest killers. The excess ingestion of high energy foods, read that as sugar rich foods or foods that pretend to be sugar rich, and by the way, foods that are fake sugar, they can be problematic too because they activate all the energy processing chemistry, the insulin chemistry, uh, not as much, but, but almost as much as, as sugary foods do. And keep in mind, by the way, protein gets turned into sugar. All vinegars are basically the end result of sugar that gets converted into alcohol and then over time gets converted into acetic acid. Vinegar starts off as sugar and then it gets converted into, I'm sorry, vinegar starts off as sugar and then gets converted into alcohol and then it gets converted into acetic acid. Sugar, alcohol, acetic acid, and any liquid that has a lot of sugar or has a lot of alcohol in it can be used to make vinegar. You can make your own vinegars very easily by adding anything with a little alcohol, a little stale beer or wine, to some starter vinegar from a Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. Just get some Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar, add it to your wine, and let it sit, and keep it in a dark place. Have it, you don't want to cover it, you want to keep it exposed to oxygen, because oxygen is required for the chemical reaction to occur, and you'll have your own wine vinegar in a couple of weeks. So if you haven't gotten the idea that vinegar is amazing, amazing stuff, and amazingly important for health, Listen to this program again, because it is, and it's real cheap, and it's real tasty, and it's real easy, too. All right, I still want to talk about green tea, because that's how we started talking about this whole subject, about green tea and how green tea benefits blood sugar and uh, also benefits the, the insulin response. Not so much the green tea as it is the EGCG in the green tea, but, of course, drinking green tea is a great way to get the EGCG. If you're diabetic, drink green tea. Everybody should be drinking green tea, in my humble opinion. All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny. 442366010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, vinegar, green tea, diabetes, anything we're speaking about here today, or health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. A couple interesting articles I want to 
I'll share with you. This is from New Scientist magazine. Love this one. Permanent diet extends primates' lives by years. Caloric restriction and longevity. A long-running trial in uh, macaques, has, I guess that's a kind of bird, like a parrot, has found that calorie restriction makes them live about three years longer than normal, which would translate to about nine years in people. Numerous studies have shown, folks, calorie restriction is linked to longevity. Eat less, live longer. Eat less calories, live longer. Calories represent work. This is why nutritional supplementation is so helpful and so important. It allows you to get nutrients without calories. Calorie is a measurement of heat. The body doesn't like heat, so it mobilizes all kinds of chemistry in order to neutralize the heat. That's what body fat is. It's stored heat. When we ingest calories, the body gets hot. It cools itself down by taking the heat and putting it in fat. Fat is inflammatory, and if you're dealing with any kind of long-term health challenge, you're dealing with an inflammatory challenge. Keeping inflammation down, keeping calories out of the body as much as possible is the key to longevity, and it's the key to reversing long-term chronic degenerative disease. It's not that difficult. When you keep the body cool, when you reduce the work the body has to do, you will live, live longer, and this is why calorie restriction is always going to be associated with longevity and the reversal of long-term chronic degenerative diseases and just feeling better. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to California and say good morning to On. Hello, On. You called yesterday, and I think we cut you off there. On, are you, are you there, ma'am? Do we have On? Did I do this right? On? Are you On, On? I don't hear On, so I'm going to put her back on hold. And... Uh, we'll get to you. Uh, stay, if you're there, on. Stick around. We'll get to you next here. Let's take Robin in Oklahoma. Good morning, Robin. How you doing? I'm well. How are you, Ben? I'm doing well. What's going on? Where in Oklahoma are you? We're in Oklahoma, right smack dab in the middle. Which, what city? Washington. Okay. I was just in Oklahoma City this weekend. Oh, man. What for? I, uh, it was a longevity deal, a, young, uh, young, a road show, they call it. So oh. my, my friend, Dr. Corey Gold, was there, and uh, a bunch of cool people were there, actually. It was a lot of fun, and I love Oklahoma. Oklahoma gets a bad rap, but I love Oklahoma. Thank you. We do get a bad rap. We can't help <laughs> A tornado. <laughs> I know. It's funny. When you watch the news, it's like they have tornado. They just have, it's just a normal part of the weather report is, is where the tornadoes are. It, it, and, it, and then they always have to interview a toothless, shirtless man about the tornado. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I didn't see any toothless, shirtless people when I was there. I was... <laughs> That's pretty funny. There. All right. What's going on today, Robin? How can we help you? I have been struggling with um, adrenal fatigue for years now, and my sleep there for a while, about seven weeks ago, I slept in three weeks about 15 hours. Wait a minute, you slept in, hang on, let me understand this. You slept in three weeks, you slept 15 hours? Yes. In 21 days, you only slept 15 hours? Yes, sir. All right, did you ever hear something called cortisol? Uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. Okay. I, well, have, I have thought for years that my cortisol is long. I'm going to make a very long story short. Okay. After going to the emergency room because of a pill a doctor gave me and it almost killed me, I decided that I was done. And you would what? I was done with medical doctors. Okay. So I couldn't get into my natural path for another couple of weeks, and I knew that I would... I was dying, and I knew it. And come to find out, my numbers go, yes, I was. So what I did was I put myself on uh, an autoimmune diet immediately, cold turkey. And in three days, I was sleeping better. Okay. Now, okay, so I'm still on the autoimmune diet, feeling, you know, all that. But Stay my on the autoimmune. What, what is the autoimmune diet, by the way? Okay, I went on Dr. Amy Myers. You eliminate dairy, wheat. Of course, I Good. had to eat wheat years. Good. Dairy, you, you, wheat. Perfect. I don't need the details. That's perfect. You did exactly okay. what you're supposed to do. The adrenal right. glands are the third point on the triangle of disease. Right. You cannot work on the adrenal glands until you work on the digestive system and the blood sugar system, which are the first two points on the triangle of disease. I shouldn't say that. You can still do things for the adrenal glands, but you're not going to completely reduce or eliminate any adrenal problems until you get the digestive system, uh, the digestive issues under control and your uh, blood sugar 
are under control. Now, I, for, for immediate relief for folks dealing with adrenal issues, deep breathing can be very helpful in just relaxing the body. But until you get the digestive issues under control, blood sugar under control, you're not going to be able to completely address adrenal health issues. Go ahead. I'm sorry. In, in, my, in my search of my, this is my own thing. I did it myself because I. I Good for I you. I did it. And Good so, for you. Are you feeling better? Well, yes. I'm seven weeks down, okay? Sleeping a little bit better. Okay. Um, the cortisol was literally, she, my naturopath said, I've never seen anyone this off. So it's high all the time. Okay, no worries, no worries. You get it down, no problem. Cortisol is stress hormone. Now, from a physiologic perspective, your two major stressors are the blood sugar system and the digestive system. But don't underestimate psychological stress either. You've got to work on psychological issues because to the body, uh, when, it, when, you, when the brain thinks something, when the mind thinks something, the body doesn't know the difference between something that's imagined and something that's real. So psychological issues, mental health issues, emotional issues, those can spike cortisol as much as blood sugar problems and digestive problems. So you got to work on all dimensions, even spiritually. When we're under spiritual duress, our cortisol will go up. So working on to stabilize cortisol at the, at the level of the digestive system and the blood sugar system are important. Working to stabilize cortisol at the level of mental health and emotional health is important. And I'm going to give you, i got a bunch of calls here I want to get to, so I'm going to do this real quickly, okay? Here's some okay. great supplements for stabilizing cortisol. Vitamin A and E, 20,000 IU of vitamin A, uh, 400 international units of vitamin E. Anything you can use to uh, any nutri nutritional supplements that help you with blood sugar are also going to help you with your cortisol. The Sweeties from Longevity, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course, that goes without saying. Uh, uh, for, there's a couple of nutrients that are specifically important for the adrenal glands, vitamin B12. Vitamin C is an all-time great vitamin for the adrenal glands. Zinc is a, the most important mineral for the adrenal glands, so 50 milligrams of zinc a day, a couple thousand milligrams of, of vitamin C a day. You'll get some vitamin C in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, magnesium is also very important for relaxing the body. It's also important for adrenal health. Make sure you're using your Beyond Osteo FX. I'd be getting a vitamin B12 shot periodically. And then one of the most underappreciated of all the nutrients, of all the vitamins, uh, for the body in general, but for the adrenal glands in, sp in specific, and this is true for anybody having adrenal issues. And by the way, hot flashes and menopausal symptoms are adrenal yeah. issues. Those, that, oh. those need to be regarded as adrenal gland issues. In fact, the hot flashes and the anxiety and the insomnia and all the things that go with um, that, that we assume are naturally a part of menopause are really adrenal issues. And vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is ridiculously important for the adrenal glands and for the hormone system in general. Uh, but you need a high dose of it and you're not going to get a high dose of B5 in very many supplements. So you got to go out and get it yourself. Maybe a, grand, uh, a gram of vitamin B5 every day, uh, 1,000 milligrams, even up to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin B5 every day with all your B complex. All right. Thanks for your call, Robin. God bless you. Good luck with everything. I hope I helped you out. And uh, we got to take a break and we'll come back with more of your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's see if we've got On back. On, are you there, ma'am? Yes, I am. Hello, On. So we got some thyroid issues, as I recall. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Here's and, the deal uh, with... I was Go ahead. Thyroxin. Uh, how's it working for you? Uh, it's... I don't get any results. I don't see any results. One of the stupidest drugs in the entire pharmacy, in my humble opinion. So Hypothyroidism. Go ahead. You, so you said that was for the hormones, uh, and I needed one for the gland. So what? You don't need a drug for your gland. You need to approach the health of the gland. The, the, uh, the medical strategy uh, for dealing with hypothyroidism is to somehow support the hormone, to give you the hormone. Uh -huh. The problem is, is levothyroxine is the inactive form of the hormone. Go figure. It's, uh, it's T4 instead of T3, technically speaking, but it's the inactive form of thyroid hormone. It has to be activated by the digestive system. The digestive system activates thyroid hormone. Thus, the importance of working with digestive health. The number one cause of hypothyroidism is called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. You may have heard of that term. Uh, and Hashimoto's disease is what they call it. Hashimoto's disease is... Uh, it's an autoimmune disease. All autoimmune diseases need to be regarded as digestive health problems. 
in addition to the fact that thyroid hormone is activated by gut bacteria. Get on the probiotics, get on the nightly essence, eat fermented food, keep your uh, intake of any foods that cause digestive distress down to a minimum, preferably zero tolerance, calorie restriction, nutrient density, use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, uh, and then also blood sugar. That's the second point on the triangle use, of disease. I use almost all of those things, but okay, can so I ask you a question about Armour Thyroid? Sure, but let me uh, well let me just finish this real quick, and then you can okay. ask me about Armour Thyroid. Armour Thyroid is is the thyroid gland ground up. Still stupid, still dumb. It, the idea being that if they grind the thyroid up of a pig, you'll get the hormones that are in the pig's thyroid. Still stupid. The idea is you've got to work on the gland, on your thyroid gland, not the hormone. And you do that by focusing on digestive health, you focus on blood sugar health, and here's the third point, and don't underestimate its importance. Calm the body down. Reduce cortisol. Elevated cortisol and hypothyroidism go hand in hand. So just like with our last caller, keep your cortisol levels down. Relax the body. You guys, this is not complicated. What's that? It's hard to do to relax. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't come over there and give you a back rub, you know. I can only tell you what to do. <laughs> of course, it's, it's, why is relaxing so hard to do? What's up? Why? You know, lighten up. Take a hot bath. Get a massage. Look, uh, we're not here forever, sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing worth stressing up, so stressing, stressing over so much that it screws up your health. Now, when I say uh, relax the body, I'm talking not just mentally and emotionally and physically, but also physiologically. If you've got any inflammatory issues, if you've got joint problems, if you're carrying too much body fat, all of those can stress the body out as well. The thyroid does not exist in a vacuum as, as is true with all the organs in the body. It's part of a system. You cannot approach the thyroid without approaching the system. Only a doctor would think of doing that. It doesn't work and it doesn't make any biochemical sense. Digestion, blood sugar, and uh, uh, calm the body down. Work on adrenal health and calm the body down. That's our triangle of disease. On, I'm going to let you go. God bless you. I hope everything works out. I'm oh, sorry I didn't mean to cut you off there, but i got a whole bunch of calls I want to get. Let's go to Don in Georgia. Good morning, Don. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Can I overcook? This is a probably silly question, but can I overcook bone broth? Uh, you can cook it too much. I mean, you don't want to overcook your proteins, that's for sure. But if it's in liquid, it would be difficult to do. That's why you want to simmer when you're making it. Keep it at a low heat, and you don't want to boil it. Uh, you want to boil it first, but, the, but you want to keep it simmered at a low heat. You don't want to overcook right. okay. it. It's, okay, because I'm using it in my slow cooker. Yeah, slow cooker is perfect, so. exactly. Okay, but I did okay. it for like two days, so I was wondering if that. Was no, no, you, if you keep it at low heat, that one, the longer you cook it at low heat, the better off it's going to be. Low heat, though. Okay, cool. And the next thing is niacin is an amazing supplement. Because Isn't it amazing? Have, man, I have blood pressure readings like I've never had before. Praise and God. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. My, that is I mean, so awesome. I took, I took a blood pressure reading. It was 127 over 88. And I thought I had to take it 10 minutes later to, to see if I was crazy or my machine wasn't working. That's crazy. 157 over like nice. 110. Nice. Isn't that so amazing how a simple supplement, that. how powerful a simple supplement can be, right? Yeah, it really is. The, the flush has stopped also. I've been Good job. back on the rest been restricting the calories using the bone broth. Awesome. Awesome. And How'd you hear about man. the niacin? How'd you hear about the niacin from us? Uh, uh, from you. Awesome. Good job. Congratulations, yeah. Thank Don. Thank you so much. All right. God bless you. Have a great day, man. All right. All right. Let's go to uh, Linda in Florida. Good morning, Linda. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. How are you this morning? I'm awesome. What's going on? Well, I have a very healthy, active, 17-year-old neighbor boy who is a top-notch competitor in motocross. And 10 days ago, he broke his ankle badly. I've okay. given him, I've given him rebound and uh, BPT. Glucogel. Oh. Glucogel caps, the ultimate enzymes. Make sure he's doing bone broth protein, which you get at brightsidehealth.com. Uh, bone broth protein is amazing for helping build connective tissue. Vitamin C in I high doses. It. Vitamin C okay. in high doses. Okay. Uh, and then also, uh, in addition to Beyond Tang and Tangerine, vitamin C in high doses. And then also your ultimate EFAs, maybe 9 or 12 of those a day. Good. 
throw in some hyaluronic acid for good measure and throw in some liquid silica gel for good measure too. You get that, uh, you have to get that off the internet. Liquid silica gel and then hyaluronic acid. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get a couple more calls in. Thanks, Linda. I hope we helped you out. All right, let's go to John in Oregon. Welcome to the Bright Side, John. What's going on, buddy? Good morning. Good morning to you. Say, Ben, I have a skin issue. Okay. Uh, it started about maybe six months ago as a small red patch between my shoulder blades. It is now spread maybe to the size of a small paper plate between my shoulder blades. That's not good. Is it, sy- is it symmetrical? Is there symmetry to it or just a rash? Um, uh, somewhat. It's, it's really hard to explain. They're little red bumps. They come up. They're very itchy. Do they come and go? Now, Do they come and go? No, no. They seem oh. to, they seem to be spreading. They're on my arms now. Okay. All right, let me um, help you with that. Let me help you with that. Okay. okay? The skin is a, has a large concentration of immune cells. It's an immune. It's almost like a satellite of the immune system. And any skin issues need first and foremost to be regarded as immune system problems, especially if they're rashes. Now, if you have something like eczema or broken tissue at the surface, that could, that's more like a connective tissue problem, and that's another uh, another subject. But for uh, for a rash pimply, blistery, think immune system. The immune system is your defense system. The defense system means something. If the defense system is activated, that means something has gotten inside the defense system. If something gets inside the defense system, it must have come in. Th- it's either coming in through injection or it's coming in through food. Typically, it's, you're looking at food. If you're not an IV drug user, you're looking at food. So link it to foods. Look for digestive problems. Look for blo- uh, uh, constipation, bloating, gas, heartburn. Any of this sound familiar, uh, John? Any kind of uh, digestive no, health? I- no, I don't have any of these. I did uh, go to a, a dermatologist. They Useless. Pictures. Waste of money. Unless the dermatologist is your son, there's no reason why you should be supporting him. He can't do crap about it except give you a steroid cream, which is an anti-inflammatory. So obviously he's telling you you have an inflammatory, or, which is an immune condition. Steroid creams, whenever steroid cream is dispensed, that's the doctor telling you it's your immune system and all we can do is shut it down. I'm telling you, instead of shutting down the immune system, figure out out why it's activated. You figure out why it's activated, uh, you figure out how it's activated by looking for what's getting into the blood. There's no way, hear me now, John, there is no way you could have a rash on the skin without having something getting into your blood first. And unless it's a magical angel that's sprinkling pixie dust on you and it's getting into your blood, it has to be food. You follow me? Gotcha. It's got to be in, uh, or if you're injecting it, which you obviously you're not doing. So it has to be something that's getting into the blood through the intestine. Look to food. Oh. Stop eating. If I were you, this is what I would do. Now, I know this is hard, but if this is what I would be doing, I wouldn't be eating for a couple of days. And I'd, food uh, diary. Tip, food diary. There you go, my friend. What you'll notice when you stop eating is that the rash will, will subside. It, it may take a couple of days. Do a Swero V cleanse. For anybody who can't fast but who wants to leverage the power of a fast or wants to begin an elimination diet and doesn't want to wants to clear the decks, use the Swero V. One bottle, a half a bottle every hour for at least one day, but two or three days ideally, and then start eating one single food at a time and seeing how it, how uh, the foods uh, affect your symptoms. That's all the time we have for today, John. I apologize, and I'm sorry if we left anybody on hold. Thank you so much for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out my True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 